Welcome to Greg Plays Games. Today I am going to share my PSP collection. Um, I recently went home to pick this, uh, well, to pick up a bunch of my old stuff, and my PSP was one of the items I brought back. And uh, I really just kind of had a blast from the past looking down memory lane. So this was my, I want to say, PSP that I got uh, back when this originally released, as well as the case. I had this... Um, I had, I had seen someone else with this Logitech case, and I just thought it was, like, the most interesting-looking, cool case I had ever seen. And, uh, honestly, I still feel that way. It's a great case. It's, it's definitely a thicker device relative, like, to a more modern device. Like, this is the new Nintendo 3DS, which I might also make a video on. Um, but I love this Logitech case, even still now. Um, it's kind of like a clamshell design. Uh, shoulder buttons are pretty easily accessible. Um, great case, and the PSP just kind of pops right on out. Uh, so, really cool case. Uh, I always really liked that, and still do. So here is my PSP. It is turned on, but the screen isn't on, so that's concerning. Um, the game I have in there right now is Madden 06. I'd actually just turned it on to make sure it was working, and uh, it, it seems not to be. Uh, the charging port is kind of having some issues where it's not maintaining the charge. I literally just plugged this in. so. Um, but I really do think this is still, uh, even for today, a very well designed handheld. I mean like this little joystick thing, way ahead of its time uh, in my opinion. Like it, I think it's just as comfortable if not more comfortable to use than the 3DS circle pad. Uh, great face buttons. Um, it just feels like a really premium product even now, uh, especially when you compare it. Oh, I had an SD card in here. Cool, 32 gig SD card, hell yeah. I wonder if there's anything on there. Um, I mean, just the design itself, I, I just think this is a really well-designed handheld. Hang on, let me. Like, it still feels very comfortable to hold. Um, Awesome, awesome handheld, uh, at least feel quality. Feels like it holds up to today. Um, I haven't gotten in to get in there with games. I'm actually not really sure if this is gonna work right. Uh, I'm a little worried about that now, but. Gotta plug my friend's podcast, Feet Picks. If you like laughing, I would check it out. Uh, so let's start with the games slash movies. I'm going to go with the UMD videos first, uh, just because I feel like these are the least probably interesting thing to see. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But so first up, we have Saturday Night Live, best of Will Ferrell. Uh, if you're a fan of SNL, I would recommend checking this out. Uh, I would say you can check out any of these movies on <laughs> anything other than a PSP handheld, and you'll probably have a good time. But this is a truly iconic. Uh, Ooh, almost dropped it. Not only actor, but SNL cast member. Um, really funny skits in there. Uh, I mean, all-timer is probably anything he does with Trebek. Uh, as as Alex Trebek with the, the Celebrity Jeopardy, those are always my favorites. And then, of course, the... the uh, I need a... Or I got a fever and the only cures more cowbell is on this as well. And that is just Stone Cold Classic. Next up, Robots. I don't really need to see say anything else. Uh, maybe Robin Williams' finest performance. Just kidding. But he is very funny in that movie. Then we got the bench warmers. I want to say this is maybe Bill Hader, not Bill Hader's. Uh, John Heater's uh, movie immediately after Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, and I was a really big Napoleon Dynamite fan. I like all these guys from Adam Sandler movies too. It's a really funny movie. Uh, that is all I have for movies, so I'm going to move into games next. Uh, Madden 06, I, this was easily one of my favorite PSP games. Top three for sure. Any of the Madden PSP games were a lot of fun. I remember my dad would even steal my PSP to play Madden, which um, if your dads are playing games, hell yeah. Next up, SOCOM 2, Fireteam Bravo. I feel like I tried to play this game a lot uh, as a kid, and just it was either the controls or... I don't know, there's just something about it that I really tried to play this game and I could just never, could just never do it. Next up, Ratchet and Clank, Size Matters. Uh, I don't think I ever played this game. I believe this was my brother's game. I still have not played it. Uh, and I guess if my, depending on if my PSP works or not. 
will decide if I do play it. Next up, we have an absolute heavy hitter. Star Wars Battlefront 2. I've been playing the Classic Collection and really enjoying that. Um, it certainly has some things I wish it did differently, but it's still a really good game. And on the PSP, this was also one of my most played PSP games. And uh, I still think, I mean, it shows its age, uh, especially like it today. Uh, I don't know how the PSP version holds up. I'll, I'll have to get in there and check it out. But I do remember the PSP being uh, still pretty fun. So next up. ATV MX vs ATV Untamed. I believe this was another one of my brother's games. I, I'm sure I played this at some point, but I don't really remember spending that much time with this particular game back in the day. Because the, these are all, for the most part, the original games. Like I don't think, I know we sold some at different points, but these are for the most part all of our, uh, mostly my games. I would say my brother had a DS at first, and then eventually got a PSP. So some of these are his, but uh, this was mine. SSX on tour. I have a very distinct memory of the soundtrack from this game. Um, I don't remember any particular song off the top of my head, but there was some really good music in here, so I'm excited to go back in there. I used to just listen to the music on that, like a, like an MP3 player when I didn't have one. So that was a really good uh, way to get some music. And then we got a couple more games. Lego Batman, uh, I, I really feel like Lego knocked it out of the park with some of their earlier video games, Lego Batman being one of them. And last but not least, Lego Indiana Jones, another really good one. Out of the two, I think uh, I might have to go Batman over Lego Indiana Jones, but it's been a really long time since I've played these two Lego games, so uh, I'm a big fan of, of, of both of these games. Um, I don't know if I'll end up revisiting those or not, but anyways, um, I will say that was all of my PSP collection. Um, I think I do know there are some pretty sh uh, heavy hitting games missing from here. Uh, I'm not sure if they were donated or sold. I know Tony Hawk Underground 2 was one of my other favorite PSP games. Uh, just a ton of fun great music as well and then the other one is midnight club dub edition those are two of the games that were missing that i probably played the crap out of um i just i'm guessing they got sold at some point for another video game or who knows but that is my psp collection i hope you guys enjoyed kind of taking a walk down memory lane with me uh let me know what your guys's favorite handheld is and if it was the psp what was your favorite game i would say mine is it's kind of a th tie between madden 06 midnight club and then SXX on tour and Tony Hawk, so it's not really a oh, damn man Battlefront too. I don't know. The PSP was just a really great handheld to have a lot of great games. So really cool to kind of walk down memory lane and look at all these games I had spent some time with, uh, as well as the movies too. I I watch those movies on my PSP so much as well, uh, just because you know when you're a kid this was kind of like your cell phone in a way. Uh, it just kind of was always with you and it was your sole source of entertainment at different points. So love the PSP. Uh, really excited that I still have a lot of my games and and everything so hoping i can get this psp to work and and maybe uh you know test out some of these and, and make sure they're all still working but thank you for checking out the video peace out motherfucker